Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. Uh, I am absolutely thrilled to be here, and uh, and looking out at all your uh, smiling faces to me is uh, is just a wonderful thing. And uh, before I get going, obviously I want to say thank you to uh, everybody who came, but I also want to make a point of, of thanking everybody who had a, a, a role in, in organizing this. First and foremost would be Alicia Gibb and Aya here, who uh, have been just a, a, a force of nature getting this thing pulled together, so thank you. <laughs> Take a bow, it's okay. Well, thank you very much. Um, I'd also like to thank all the companies that have been involved, everybody from uh, you know, Maker Faire, uh, iBeam, Creative Commons, Little Bits, um, and, uh, and all the volunteers who are running around here with wearing shirts and doing stuff. It's, it's been a huge effort, and I think you'll see the results of the, uh, those efforts today. Um, but I'd like to just point out uh, one thing, which is this, this event is really about you guys. It's not about the people up on stage, and, and, and I have a request which I'll make in a, in a minute, but I want to tell a story first. Um, I want to tell you how I got here, because I got here as a result of the community. Um, and, and the reason I'm here in, in, in large measure is because of a couple of people in the audience. And uh, back in 2006, before I started Bug Labs, I was thinking about what the possibilities were. And I read a book by uh, a gentleman by the name of Professor Eric Von Hippel. Eric, where are you? I know you're here somewhere. There he's back there. He, uh, he wrote a book called... Uh, called Democratizing Innovation, and if you haven't read it, I really recommend you do. It's available on his website as a PDF. It's a fantastic book about the power of giving control to the users of things, and, and specifically the producers of, I mean, the uh, consumers of physical goods, not digital goods. Um, so that really got me thinking. And then the other thing that happened was that uh, Dale Dougherty and Phil Tyrone uh, came out with uh, Make Magazine, which was another just earth-changing thing for me because I grew up with popular science. How many people remember that magazine? All right, so I know how old you are. Um, it was Popular Science and Heath Kits for me. And, uh, and that also got me thinking that, hey, you know, I wasn't alone in, in wanting to have more control over the physical things in my life. And, and so the point of that story is that the reason I'm here is because of these people. And the request I would make of you is that as you learn and, and gather information about what's going on in the world of open hardware today, you go out and inspire a bunch of people so we can continue to grow this I would love to have this all come together again next year and have 10 times as many people, although I know you guys probably don't want to organize that one. Um, but that's the request, and I think it would be a huge success if we even do a little bit of that. So, so please, uh, enjoy the conference, have fun, ask a lot of questions, do a lot of participation, and more than anything, uh, you know, take the word and, and spread the word. But what I'd also like to do now is, is uh, introduce uh, Aya, who also is a big part of this, and she's also going to welcome you. Wow. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, so we're, we'll keep this brief because we have a really exciting lineup uh, of speakers today. So we want to hear um, everyone talk and have, um, have time for questions. Um, just very briefly, how we came, how this came about. Uh, my personal experience with uh, open source is when I started um, at MIT as part of the computing culture group, and open source was about um, enabling uh, social change. Uh, a few years later, when uh, working with an IBM an Arts and Technology Center here in New York, um, open source was about enabling creative expression. Um, continuing with that framework and creating work, um, I decided to continue my personal work in, in embarking on open source, even though it was much more complex working with hardware that way. Uh, for what reason? Because the project work was about lowering the threshold for innovation. Uh, I believe innovation needs openness. For me, open hardware is about making innovation accessible. Um, so it's, it started like that, doing a little project. I made a project called Little Bits, a library of electronics that snapped together with magnets. Um, and I prototyped 58 modules. They worked. They were great. Now what? How do you make 10? How do you make 100? How do you make 1,000? How, how do you make 10,000? How do you get a, a manufacturer to accept to manufacture something for le less than uh, half a million parts. How do you sell them? Where do you sell them? Um, all these very big questions that I started to gather a group of advisors around me to help me think about. And then I noticed that a lot of my peers were going through the same process as well. 
a lot of us were going through the same questions, coming at them from different angles. The same goes for, um, for bug labs, who are coming at it from sort of more the corporate world than having corporate part partners. We have all these questions, we have, um, uh, we have common goals, we just don't know how to go about them. Uh, we're lucky to have with us today uh, some of the biggest leaders in the field that have figured out a lot of these questions. Um, I don't think uh, anybody has all the, all the answers yet. Uh, today the summit is about trying to attempt, attempting to answer uh, a lot more of these questions, sharing the knowledge, uh, trying to see the community that we're part of, we're each other's support system, and we're all here today, so it's a, it's a show of, of, um, of motivation to, to move forward. Uh, so I'd like to reiterate what Peter said. Um, please take your time, think about the things that we're saying, uh, or the panelists are saying, the speakers, ask questions. Uh, uh, you can uh, go on Twitter and, and post questions there. Uh, we have uh, volunteers that are looking at it and, and are going to post the questions to the speakers, etc. And other than that, we hope you have a really good time and thanks for coming. So one of our most important goals for the summit today is to be sort of very action-driven and solution-driven. Um, so we're try we try to discourage uh, people that were submitting talks and uh, speakers and panelists um, from being too theoretical, from bike shedding, which I learned uh, as a new term from Alicia last week, um, but more think about best practices, uh, sharing knowledge, um, really sort of on the ground questions that would help uh, people you know, go about better making hardware. So we, at this time, we had wanted to introduce um, Tom Igo, who is a referee, however he is stuck in traffic. So um, when he gets here, we'll introduce him again, but just to uh, let him know, let, or let you all know, that as a referee, he's going to be keeping our time for the speakers, and he's also going to hop in and just like in soccer, give a red or yellow card if the discussions get too heated or too far off track. So please do respect his decisions. Sorry, I'm messing up. Sorry, sorry. Something had to happen. Okay, so um, you'll notice, we hope you're enjoying your goodie bags, by the way. Oh, there's Tom, so we'll interrupt. Um, so, <laughs> Tom, wave. Oh my God, Tom, I go, people. Um, so he's. <laughs> So in, in his hand, you'll see the red, red and yellow cards. And uh, <laughs> so we're hoping that you know, we have a little bit of fun with this, um, with referee, but also to keep this really on track, and as he's been told and you've been told. Um, so with no further ado, there he is. Um, so uh, we hope you're enjoying your goodie bags. Thank you for all the sponsors for donating uh, little goodies for the, for the bags. Um, in the bags as well, you'll find a copy of the Open Hardware Definition uh, Draft 0.3. Um, in July of this year, a group of um, enthusiasts, makers, manufacturers um, put together a, a, a draft for a definition uh, for open source hardware or open hardware. And uh, initially it started from an interest in creating a license and then it became more about creating a set of norms that the community would uphold and would, would, uh, um, and would enforce somehow uh, to define open hardware. Uh, so yesterday, um, Windell, who is somewhere here, Wendell up there, um, created draft 0.4 based on feedback. The, the definition's been posted for a few months for public comment and public feedback. Uh, we've also been collecting a lot of the feedback from forums, from websites, from blogs, etc. Um, and today is, is also a chance to collect some more feedback uh, of the definition, point, uh, version 0.3, version 0.4, and hopefully to work towards creating a new version, maybe even a version 1.0. Uh, some uh, we've, you know, due to popular request, um, 
we're holding you know, more feedback sessions because this is going to be an important document, so we don't want to rush through it. Um, you will find that the link that is on the definition paper, uh, the Freedom Defined link, if you put at the end of it, underscore draft, uh, you will find the definition version 0 0.4. So please look at it. Uh, feel free to edit it all day. We ask that you edit wh while you're logged in. Uh, so in the spirit of openness, we're going to have the dialogue both offline and online. Um, and hopefully, and we'll have discussions more about it during uh, David's uh, panel, the law panel, and at the end of the day at 6 o'clock. Oh, and also, please tweet responsibly. Um, apparently, there's, a, there's new code around that. Um, we have uh, two Twitter uh, tags, Open Hardware for general open hardware issues and Open HW Summit uh, for, related, uh, for issues related to the summit. Uh, we all, as I said, we'll be picking up questions from there, et cetera. So for questions that are not on Twitter, um, there are two mics set up on either side of the auditorium. At times, panelists, uh, moderators, or speakers may ask for audience questions. And at those times, you can cue at the mic and ask your questions. Um, hopefully, you notice that there's a coat check on the way in if anybody has luggage coming straight from the airport. Um, the bathrooms, if you go out of this door here, take a right. There's a hallway to your left where the bathrooms are. Speakers, the green room is in that same hallway. Um, breakout rooms for additional discussion are downstairs. If you take the elevator downstairs, they're right when you get off of the elevator. That's the easiest way to find them. Those rooms are um, available if anybody wants to talk separately or get a few people together and have a chat and whatnot. Um, and um, some volunteers are wearing some open hardware shirts. There might not be a whole lot around, but Matt Chollerton is right up there. You can see him. He's got a beautiful shirt on. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. So again, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Um, uh, first, uh, we'll, we'd like to thank our, the catalysts of this event who are generously supported the staff, the venue, financial sponsorships, uh, Bug Lab, the little bits for organizing, Creative Commons, uh, Maker Fair, and the New York Hall of Science, um, of course, uh, for donating the venue, uh, iBeam and HTINK for being our fiscal sponsors. Um, and we had a lot of um, generous sponsorship. Um, here's the companies which sponsored. Spark Fun, Evil Mad Scientist, Seed Studio, Element 14, Switch Science, Arduino, Umlaut, Wiznet Technology, Pitney Bowes, Circuit Co., DIY Drones, Dangerous Prototypes, Adafruit, Parallax, Beagleboard, and um, other contributors were Grammel Design, Water Electronics, Hacked Gadgets, Wayne and Lane, Tronic Stuff, Special Computing, Sentai, Rachel Electronics, South Florida Makers Group, Overflow Studio, Electronics is Fun, Electronic ho Hobbyist, Think Geek, Yako Tanabe, Armin Siddharth, Hearth, and John Fries. It's quite a list. Um, also, we'd like to thank our volunteers um, very much. Without this, this, well, this event could not happen. Um, first, uh, actually, Sherry Huss and Dale Doherty at Make, uh, Dan Wempa and Jen Bridges at the New York Hall of Science, uh, scienceblogs.com for donating free advertising. Um, thank you to our streamer, Becky Stern, uh, to Joe Savidra, our tweeter, tweeterer <laughs> something. Um, thanks to uh, Filteron. Um, for being our friend when we did a, a media push. Uh, thank you to Ruba Khalil and Sima Shamma, who's not here. Uh, thank you to our designers, Mateo Zlatar and Shelby Arnold, uh, who is here. Thank you, Bill Ward, our cameraman, uh, today documenting the event, um, and Jolly McAfee, our videographer. Um, also others who helped immensely, Matt Chollerton, I guess is down helping now. Um, and Reba Koppelman, Mimi Wee, Jessica Banks, NYC Resistor, uh, Jolly McAfee, actually, you got two mentions. Um, as well as the NYU ACM chapter, Max Sobel, Evan Korth, Kelly Martin, Tamreen Khan, and Andrew Lott. So, with all this help and all this generous sponsorship, um, we were really excited to announce a scholarship that's going to come up. Because this is a nonprofit event, we're not keeping any of the profits, we want to give it back to the community. So when we finally figure out all our end finances, we're going to have some crazy number that's going to end with something like 34 cents and uh, put that up to a scholarship. And, and I think that'll be a pretty good amount. Um, and so 
There will be information on our mailing list and on Twitter and follow us to find out um, more about when to apply and um, how to win that scholarship. So we've come this far in the summit and we're about to announce Lamore Freed, our first speaker. And I just wanted to point out that 75% of the people on stage so far have been women. So um, we are, you know, this is, is it, this is not biased at all, but, but we would like to uh, particularly encourage uh, uh, women, young women, girls, ladies uh, to, uh, uh, to enter this field more. Um, I heard the statistic once, I couldn't find it again when I needed it, of course, uh, that at age eight, girls and boys are equally interested in science and technology, and after a few years, the number drops to a quarter or even, and then less uh, after that. Um, so we are very, very proud to uh, be introducing Lemoore, um, who uh, has been a leader in the field. Um, I'm going to read the little snippet that we have from her. Lemoore is the founder of Ada Fruit Industry, or Lady Ada, um, a New York City-based uh, electronic company. Lemoore recently received the Electronic Freedom Foundation's Pioneer Award for her work in open source hardware. Um, so please, everybody, help us welcome Lemoore Freed. <laughs> 